big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Huh. Big shit, big hey. shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not my dad walk on. Say, man, we got special, special, special guests in the house today, <laughs> man. No, 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 no. Hey, they don't need no introduction, man. Everybody, if you've been in the city, man, they represent Dallas, man. When it comes to the sounds, mm-hmm. uh, they make it sound clear. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. These guys, man, hey, man. Uh, true pioneers, you know what I'm saying? When you start to go down that rabbit hole and look and see who they are, you start uh-huh. to find out a lot of things that happen behind the scenes. These guys were attached to it, man. Skirt. Check it, man. We got Doug Johnston <laughs> and we got that boy B. Watson in the in the house, man. Ooh. What's going on? What's up with it? Hey, uh, man. What's going on? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's it. So, hey, man, you know how we do it, right? We start off, we really just, we go right into the backstory of who the individual is that comes on the show. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to start off with Doug. I'm going to be like, okay, Doug, so just tell us a little bit about who you are. I know you're from from Dallas. Oh, I know you're from Dallas, and I know... This old boy here from Lancaster, old B. Watts, he's from Lancaster. <laughs> because I, I, I remember with the primetime click, that whole right, situation. Them, them Lancaster yeah. boys. Yeah, them Lancaster yeah. boys. <laughs> but we're going we gonna to pick on Doug first, man. So, man. Doug, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, no, I'm from Dallas. Grew up in Duncanville. Okay. You know, and uh, here we are. Hey. <laughs> Oh, that's all you want to tell you. Get him, Steph. He just jumped into the fish it. Official Miss Jamaica. So, let me ask you, were you um, raised by your mom and dad? Yeah. In the same house? Yes, and yes, yeah. siblings. Two brothers. Two brothers, no yeah. sisters. No, it's uh, three boys. Oh wow! That's dope. Are you that's the dope. oldest or the youngest? No, I'm the baby. You're the baby, so yeah. you're baby boy. That boy got yeah. baby boy yeah. syndrome, no, man. The, Are you a mama's it. boy? That boy got baby boy syndrome. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. So was no. it hard growing up in there? Uh, some people say with the babies is like you grew up in your older siblings' shadows, so to say. Yeah. Did you no, pass definitely. your own way, or did it? Um, you did you grow up in their shadow? Yeah, you know, I went my own way to jail. <laughs> right quick, like I went, yeah, I went my own way. I'm the only one with my own way. <laughs> I mean, was you the only one or the yeah, brothers? No, I was, the, I was the only one that did that. Wow. That's yeah. the rebellious yeah. way. That's the, that's the older ones would say because um, he was he get away with everything. He get away with everything, yeah. so he got his way all the way to. Yeah. That's yeah. really yeah. what yeah. happened. Yeah. yeah, to the tiny whiteies. So yeah. did, did, did those did those guys, your brothers, did they did they check in on you when you was going through that? No, they did. Shit, okay. that was about it. You know, you got all <laughs> your homies and shit. You think we're gonna roll up? They ain't coming. Hell no. Nah. They is not. Yeah, I, I can attest <laughs> yeah. to that. They're not coming. Like yeah, no, you, like damn, I ain't got many friends like I thought. We right. was all hanging out. Yeah, no, and they in. disappeared. Yes, sir. So well, when you yeah. were sorry, but when you were growing up and they saw that you were heading down the wrong path, so to say, because they weren't, you know, they didn't go with you, so they didn't try to pull you to the side and be like, "Hey, bro, you, you not doing what you're supposed to be doing." Yeah. They no, did? no, no, they gave me that, you know, but I was young. Didn't thought, want to listen. I thought I knew everything. You know how it is. You know, you get 18, now I want out of the house. You know, now I'm mm. thinking shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, if you're back in with mom and dad, you don't have no adult, you know, the adulting, you right. know, you have the responsibilities and shit. So. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think that um, you feel like, um, you know, growing up, uh, you, you, you did everything that you felt like you wanted to do? Uh, you know, far before you, because you got you had to be yeah. eighteen or so to to go into that incarcerated. Yeah, state. yeah. No, I mean, I've you know. I could have been juvenile. <clears throat> so yeah. as a juvenile, no, it was it was, right. it was adult. Yeah, I skipped all that. Yeah, we went right into it. Okay, so. Um, but at, at the end of the day, it, you know, it tells a story where I'm at today. You know, so there's no regrets. Right. In that. You know, it's sort of like I tell people, you got to live two lives. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So what did you want to do when you were a kid growing up? What was your dream? Was that kids to be like, oh, you know, I want to be a superhero? Nah, it wasn't yeah, like what that. You want I'm just do? saying, what did you what did you want to be when you were a kid? No, I mean, I, I mean, you know, it was party, women. Oh, that's know, what you wanted to do. That's why it's a party. I wanted a lot of women. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there was no goal. That's real. That's real. That's real. So you you got to tie it to the life. So you yeah. was just like, yeah, yeah I was living I'm, I'm that life. Have fun. <laughs> See, I, somebody else came on and, and yeah. say what I wanted to be. I, he didn't come out straight and say it, but he sort of like figured it out. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it was streetwise what he wanted to be. You know what I mean? Mm. So I'm like. Everybody have their own goals. Is what yeah. they wanted to, what they looked up to, 
growing up. Mm -hmm. So um, who was the person when you were younger and wanted all the women and wanted the party that you looked up to as a male figure and saying, I want to be just like him because I see him partying every night. I see him having all the women. Who was it that made you feel like that's what I wanted to do? Man, that's a good question. Get him still. <laughs> you know? Get him still. Make him go all the way in there. <laughs> in that vault. Yeah, in that's that right. vault. Get in the vault, baby. You know, I've always been on my own. You know, I'm not going to lie. I didn't really look up to anybody. You really? Know? Yeah. I just observe. TV? Like, no. Nah, because, you know, they exactly. always say whether consciously or subconsciously, we as human beings, we get these thoughts from somewhere. Right. Whether right, you right. realize from the movies or from the rap videos or from whatever. Right, right. Whether you want to admit it or not, it comes from somewhere. Man, you know, then I'd have to say like NWA, you know, okay. when I was growing up. You know, I really, I really, oh, you the, know, the streets raised. Yeah, yeah. And so like the, the, rap the music. hustling, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, getting hooked on. Okay. Easy E. Yeah. Okay. Easy E, yeah. yeah. He was once a dog from okay. around the way. <laughs> you know, come on. Easy. You know? But you <laughs> shut the, yeah. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> what, what does that do on Netflix right now? What uh the, the oh about the, like the history of hip hop? What's the the name? Is that the name of it? Probably uh, with the DJ and everything. Yeah, I mean they go back like to the about, Sugar, Sugar yeah, Hill game. Oh yeah, oh, I gotta watch yeah. that. You know, a lot of people. I met them, you know, man. I, that's yeah, dope, man. Yeah. One of them passed away. Right, it's right. two left. I met I met the two. That I, was I remember listening to them on vinyl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Records, mm -hmm. you know yeah me even, too, they, man. They even have I had that. I had cassettes. And what was shit that like other that. one? Uh, <laughs> it was uh, yeah, uh, oh, the, cassettes. Uh, uh, this was a record. <laughs> hey, the vinyl. No, 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 we went. We went vinyl. Eight yeah, track, dumb eight, girl. Eight, right. You remember eight, dumb girl? Yeah, yeah, you eight you remember that Run though. DMC dumb yeah. girl and uh uh. Well, you be ill and yeah. bum, 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 bum. you don't know yeah. about to let me and Doug just nah, ride. Right, you right, 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 right. <laughs> nah, I'm a, I'm you know, like, okay. you know what I'm saying? That whole that, that whole like, thing was a, yeah. just yeah, a record. A baby. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, that yeah, was, he wasn't no baby. That's, that's the baby. history of hip hop. But, yeah, you know, on Netflix, that's out. If you watch all, you know, it's like a series, but yeah, you know, a lot of good information, history. You know, I think a lot of the kids today they don't they don't realize where it all came from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So, do you feel like, um, you know? Uh, now you you you've accomplished the things you wanted to in hip hop, like because you know we still hip hop, right? So do you feel like we right now we in a place in hip hop that you feel like okay yeah if I was driving I'd have parked it right here. No, <laughs> no, you're right no, with it. No. I'd have parked it right here, no. right in this slot. Was there a, was there a you know? place in the past <laughs> that seemed that way to you? That's a good question. That's a good follow. -up. Because sometimes yeah, because yeah. sometimes that you know because we're older. It seemed like a place in the past where like that was it. But yeah. now we graduated into something that's like, what is this? Right. Nah. I mean, I've I've always been a very open minded individual. Yeah. You know, so you know, I like looking at things, you know, I think there's a lot of cool things with the technology that's come about that changes the game. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think a lot of the executives that grew up with hip hop where it is today, you know, you can take that book and throw it out the window. Yeah, mm. you that, know, there's there's a lot of new industries that can be created within the music industry that people just ain't looking at right now. Mm -hmm. What did you think about um, um, what did you think about Dr. Dre when he said, "I still uh, confess that I don't smoke weed or cess," and then he turns around and do a chronic album with that big leaf on the on the on the CD. <laughs> You know, that's there again. You know what I'm saying? You know, I go there though. He's from Cali. No, yeah. no, but you understand yeah. where I'm no, coming no, from. I mean, like this was, this was this 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 what this but, happened. He he said know. that right before that, right, and right, then right. he came back and said, "I still." He said on the, on that song, he said, "I still confess that I don't smoke weed or cess, right? Because it's known to give brain damage. That's what he said. Right. But then the very time when he went solo, mm -hmm. him and Snoop come out, and they had the chronic." But you got Snoop on there. I was about to you say that too. The, the music's for the culture, yeah, you know, right. or for for America mm -hmm. at that. You know, you think so he just switched like, it up, huh? Well, I mean, it, it is is you know, it just ties in all that. But it's like NW even when they said "fuck the police," I think yeah. that's the most brilliant marketing thing. Correct. You know, they still making money today, and the all police they, they still scared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so what you're saying 20, 20 is you're later. basically saying right. that they was marketing even back then. Everything was about oh, the dollar, for sure, for and, sure. they, and that's what it was about yeah. then. So many people think that you were being real when you say real things. You live out this real gangster life, mm -hmm. but these guys mm -hmm. were marketing uh, geniuses. geniuses. And you think about Ice Cube. He said he ain't yeah. no gangster. He right. tell people that all the time. He's an mm -hmm. actor. Yeah, but when they said fuck the mm -hmm. police, CNN, you know, all all them picked it up and did all that marketing for free. Right. It's brilliant. That's dope. That's 
that's dope. You know, I think that's one of the most brilliant marketing schemes that I've seen, you know, in hip hop personally. And, yeah. and that's so you true know. because when you think about um, rapping about crucial, like they talk about Tupac too, because of what he spoke about with the police, because certain things will never go away. Right. Like police brutality and, you know, injustice and all of that. Mm -hmm. So when you rap about stuff like that, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, we're still going to be going through that. So somebody can always pull from the archives and bring it back and it feel like it's still going, it, that's what I'm going through right, right now. Right. So I wish more people would take hint and look at certain things like that. It doesn't always mm -hmm. have to be police, but we go through things repetitiously through time all right, the time right. that, you know, wish you had music to soothe. That's right. sort of. That's dope. That's dope. Right. Let me, let, let's jump off you for a second. There's a guy sitting next to you I want to kind of pick on. <laughs> B. Watts is in the building, guys. This is his uh, first debut uh, uh, interview. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got, we just want Both wanna, of them first debut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interview. But I want to talk about B right now. B. Watts, see, yeah. see, Doug, he knows a little bit about this. So we, I, I can't pick on him like I can <laughs> B. B. Watts, what, what's up with you, man? I mean, just give us a little bit of insight on who you are, where you come from. Take us right down that rabbit hole. Okay, well, I was born in Oak Cliff, Texas. You were born in Oak Cliff? Yes, I was born in Oak Cliff. Okay, like, Oak Cliff in the house? I even went to Birdie Alexander. Ooh. Like, yeah, and then yeah, I he, went to Lancaster. Yeah, My mama was hood, like, nah. He hood, he hood. You know, nah. She didn't like the area? She was just like, she ain't went to Carter, you know? Oh, okay. So she was just like, nah, you, nah. Let's and you say your mom, here. so that your Let's dad, your dad different. didn't, your dad wasn't there. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, my my real father got shot, but then I had my stepdad, and my dad. So how yeah. old were you, you when know. he got shot? Huh? Um, three. Three. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, he got. Yeah, he got killed. Yeah, I remember. Really, at three? Yeah. Not just stories that they've been telling you, but you remember. No, no, no. This really happened. It's wow. Like, okay. You have a good memory me, because so. I can't remember nothing at three. I can't. Uh, my daddy right. shot at my mama. Yeah. Some, I, some, I mean, my mama shot at my dad. Traumatic oh, wow. issues. Yeah, I was like, in the yeah. living room and he shot, boom. Yeah. And, and I, as a little kid, to he see shot her. At no, she shot. She shot at him. I, right. yeah, the, the bullet went by this far. He said, "You ain't gonna shoot me." Uh, <laughs> boom. She wow. shot. Yes, yeah, she went. And, uh, and, and it went right above his head. And um, he had been shot in the head, and he used to keep the bullet in his pocket. Wow. So this was the second time uh, an attempt was an made attempt. on his life. What did he did he run mm. after that? He ran after her. She ran next door. She dropped the gun and ran. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. really happened. <laughs> he didn't run out of the house. He no, ran he ran after, after her. her. Like, right. don't want, you know, try to shoot his reaction. If you met my, you know my dad. Yeah. He don't. He, he, do he like he's scary easy when he was living? And now, but somebody tried to shoot you. I'm, he been I'm, shot in the head already. He felt like he can run through bullets. <laughs> right. But no, let's get back to uh, 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 so uh, your um, so you said your stepdad is who raised you yeah 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 he raised me yeah let me okay. ask you because uh, because uh, uh -huh. you if i'm if i if i remember correctly you you were uh with the prime time click oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i prime mean time. cash shout out to cash and uh tj <laughs> yeah and all them yeah, boys right, man right. yeah man and Duro. <laughs> Duro mentioned you when he was on this show yeah yeah he yeah. said that you yeah watch no you remember still <laughs> watch no watch no everything <laughs> watch was at said. pv with me yeah. watch was with, with me at pv so yeah. what did you know i mean he's saying Hold on, about but before you get into that i still i'm not done with my uh, oh she's trying to condition you man <laughs> i want to see i want i want to get to know him a little bit more okay go ahead. what do you want to okay. know about <laughs> <Look at him>. <laughs> <laughs> no but um okay so i know you got into the music but how old were you when you wanted when that's what you figured out you wanted to do what to do music well yeah. i was pretty young and beating like, on pots and pans so oh yeah how old my was family pretty young? was already calling me bam bam um, wow that's dope bam bam they say i used to get the pots and pans at, at the uh i used to crawl in there and get them out did you, you have know, the musical spawned. air from your, somebody in your family so uh, a lot of people in my family do music so it's like yeah so I can definitely see it from my uncles. They hitting a the chiclet circuit with all these different bands. And yeah. Yeah. I can, awesome. Yeah. So that's where you got it from. Okay. Yeah. So when did you finally, how old were you when you finally started taking it seriously? It's like, you know what? I don't know. I you know, do this. me growing up, it was different. You know, we still had cassette tapes and we mm -hmm. was listening to the radio mainly. It wasn't no internet and right. all that. That was just coming into play AOL and stuff. So mm -hmm. it took mm -hmm. forever to do all that. But uh, music, like, I was listening to the radio, recording on the radio, the little sniffles and recording that and record, recording on that what? before I even knew about what 
a beat machine was. So you didn't want to start rapping first? Cause you know, it huh? seemed like everybody wants well, to start I was rapping first. Freestyling. So you were so, freestyling. Yeah, were you that any good? was my thing. Yeah, I used to be on tables at. What was your stage fifth name? Grade, sixth grade, B Watts. Oh, is it, it, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Everybody knew me as B Watts. I used to hit the cafeteria, and it used to go down. I used to have already. So it the was Duro in there with, with you. Let's get back on that. Huh? Do, no, he went to I school in, with you. When I was in school, yeah, me and Duro went to school, but Duro started um, rapping later on. But you like, was rapping first school. before him. Well, yeah, we wasn't primetime click then. Primetime click started at PV. Primetime no. click. Yeah, Duro started there before I even got the PV. Okay, oh, you know. Okay. Yeah, he's. St- that was going on a year because Duro is a year ahead of me. Okay. okay, okay. So yeah, that was going on then, and then when I got there, he was like, "Hey, I got this going on, poop, poop, poop." You know. Then we go over there. He take me show it. I'm like, "Hey, you got this? Oh, let's do it." <laughs> you yeah, enjoyed he, it? He already do because like like when I was young, you know, I didn't. I was messing with dudes that, you know what I'm saying? They were looking at me like, how you doing this? And, yeah. you know, I'm recording, I'm putting out uh, CDs at the school in seventh grade. Wow. You know, so yeah, I'm passing them out. I'm how did you find out, out how to do money. these things? Because you say you like, didn't have the <laughs> internet or, you know, stuff like that. How uh, did you find out how to do these things, how to make these things? Like, my uncle, he used to just rap all the time. He rapped with Desperado Boys and stuff like that. So he showed you how to record? when I was young, he used to take me, he took me to the studio and stuff. Okay. And so, so, you know, I didn't watch them do it on that, and I was like, I didn't have that. So, but I had the, like I said, the radio at the Mm -hmm. house, and it had the double cassette tape, and I could record on one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I could do that. You could put the Mm -hmm. mic in. It was RCAs in the back. Yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying? And you can record loops record record loose and then rap on them then you know switch the house came out you saw it looking at screw and <laughs> shit then you just like that i want everybody else beats let me yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's how it went yeah 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 man yeah. so so you you feel like you 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 know uh that's where it started um were you partying down at Perry View at 12 o'clock they had a party oh, yeah, every day yeah. at 12 o'clock Man, I shouldn't have been <laughs> I partying. Heard about that, man. <laughs> they had a party. Right. You hear that? No, they had a party every day. <laughs> On and Wednesday. during the day. Was it Wednesdays? Every yeah, Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, every every Wednesday right. at 12. Yeah. A party. They for just an go hour. to party for an hour and yeah. go back to class. And then go back to class like it wasn't none. Wow. Yeah. It's going down. <laughs> Y'all were doing it. Yeah, it's going down. HBCU <laughs> Prairie View. Did you go to class yeah. after you got through party? You. Huh? Man, I man, I shouldn't have been going to <laughs> <laughs> You know, Bone the one told us about them parties. He said every yeah. day every at twelve he, he's like, How I did you went to class? I should have just went to class. <laughs> He said everybody went back to class after the party. That's what he told us. Well, he, he, got, like, his, he got his masters from down there. See? Yeah. Yeah. He went back Did to class. Did you finish? Yeah, he went back right. to class. Did you no, finish? No, no, I didn't finish. <laughs> they wore him out. <laughs> I didn't finish. It. So, so D- <laughs> Doug, uh, we're going to get back to you, man. So, um, Artistic Studio. Before you get into Artistic Studio, what were you doing before that? Because I know that as you got older and you're like, well, I got to work. Right. What was it your first job that you started doing? So I grew up in construction, so I sort of naturally ended back up into that. So you grew up, your parents did construction? Yeah, my dad. Your dad? Okay, yeah. so you, you sort of took over the fa- family business or? No, I just I? the uh, all three brothers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so you all started a business together. Of course, the oldest brother, you know, he sort of mm-hmm. took it over and, you know, then we went. You know, they look like twins. Yeah. Really? Do they? <laughs> <laughs> they look like twins. How you much like, younger are you? Brother. brother, is that dude? Well, it was, yeah. it was uh, three, three, what is it, three years? We were all three years all three apart. Years. Oh, she, so, she did it so, perfect. Yeah, so my eldest brother was six years. Right. Middle, middle and then brother other was three. three. And then, yeah, wow. You know okay. I mean? Yeah. So you did that and did that for how long? All my life. Yeah. So I just, I ended up uh, going to night school, uh, doing some design courses, and found out I had a gift. And yeah. That's where I, re- I guess that's business. where I really, you know, found out what I wanted out of life mm-hmm. at a, probably about 31. Wow. That was a little you know late I mean? blooming, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, you know. right. <laughs> you late <like> bloomer? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dope. No, dope, 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 Definitely, dope. man. You know, I found out I had a gift, you know, I was on HGTV Discovery Channel. Wow. You know, one. You know, and so least, that was when you was, was, was re, what, decorating or re 
designing. Tell us a little bit about you know, what you were doing. You you designing um, yards or yeah, it was the outdoor living spaces. Outdoor living, you know, it's where the whole staycation. Mm-hmm. You know, so a mm-hmm. lot of a lot of the big homes, you know, they don't want to travel because all the stuff going on in the country right. or out in the internationally. So they want to build, you know, a staycation. And how long ago did you, you stop know. doing that? Um, well, July 10th will be six years. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I can think of right now, I'm like, yeah. dang, if you were just doing that during the pandemic, because everybody wanted a staycation during the pandemic, nobody was going no, anywhere. My, my family's still in it, so they're killing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're killing it. So you never you think know. about going back, dealing with it? You know, yeah. Every now you know, and then. You know, I do, because I have passion to create. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So. That's but, dope. I, but I do believe where I'm at today, I'm here for a reason. Hey, man. I'm you're still creating hey, in what you're yeah, doing. Man, I'm trying to get there, too. My wife yeah. ain't trying to live in. Official Miss Jamaica, not trying okay, to Okay, so he left, he left the, the, we getting into it. We getting right. into that now. now. So he left that, yeah. so now you can go ahead into the artistic. Well, I'm just trying to figure out about artistic studio, because that's what this whole <laughs> thing is supposed to be about, really just about business, music, trying to figure out, you know, just how how to develop something like that right you know what i mean because a lot of people are right now trying to develop airbnbs and stuff to where they can create different places to where people can go and do different things and and it's kind of like you was ahead of the ball game you know like that house we went to Mm -hmm. with torn visuals where Mm -hmm. they rent it out they got rooms in there so you can go in there and do different visuals visuals i mean they have like a um a set and they yeah. change the set out every, every day. say, three months yeah, or four three. months. So right. one room would look like a palace. The other room would look yeah. like a, a pink whatever. Right, mm-hmm. right. And they have the furniture to match whatever yeah. year you wanted to. You know, oh, so wow, a lot wow, of wow. Um, rappers, singers, whatever, they'll they go by there and do rent their different places yeah, yeah. to do their music videos. Yeah, yeah. And that's not the only one. There's a lot it's of auto, places yeah. in Dallas that does that. And I didn't realize that till you know, videographers start telling us. Yeah. And that you can go online. There's a website that you can go on and see all of these studios. Else. Yeah, correct. So yeah, peer space. I think. Mm, yes, that's exactly, yeah, that, yeah. That, exactly that was it. Yeah. And and so, um, with that being said, you know, you you basically you had this idea to formulate something to where you would have different places in there to do different things. Uh, we went down there today and mm-hmm. we took a look at it, man. And uh, it's, it's it's amazing, amazing. You know, right. and we did an amazing job with that. Thank you. You know, um, but I was like, man, you know, this is dope. Like. I can't afford this. That's that's what I was thinking. <laughs> right, right, I'm just right, gonna right. be real. <laughs> right, like, no, I'm, just, I'm just being honest. <laughs> you, like, like, no, no, I'm just telling. Like yeah. in my mind, I'm like, yeah. damn, you know, he did this, but damn, what I, I don't know, man. Like, I probably can't afford it, but it, it's gonna. You got some, man. You got some big cojones, bro. But he didn't right. do it overnight. No, no, no. But everything still. you have, you didn't have it just like that. It took uh, you. To, I mean, I don't know. That would be a big, big question. <laughs> like you know, you know like we, we jumped into it. Ten toes yeah, deep, I mean, you know, we right came over today, there, but we, we, you know, we've, you know, we've we've added on to the arsenal. Yeah, you know, over mm-hmm. t- you know over the six years, but right. you know, I would say when we jumped into it, it was eighty percent. Yeah, of what we maybe, okay. maybe ninety five percent. Oh, really? You know, yeah, say, yeah. Because we 90, went in twenty sixteen, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Twenty sixteen, we went in there. That green room was in there. Yeah. It was very organized. No, so the studio was done. No, listen, yeah. you know everything I mean? in there, yeah. when I went, yeah. I felt like I was somewhere. I did. Right. It wasn't like I went in there like, mm-hmm. oh, man, they still working on this hell. I yeah, didn't yeah, feel yeah. that, and you didn't either, did Mm-mm. you? So that that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you had an idea of some, we're in this thing where there's different phases of, of 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 entrepreneurship going on in each room is the way I felt. When right, I right. There. I did not know you at the time. Right. I was just there. A guy invited me. I came down there, me and my wife. Mm-hmm. I took a picture in there too right. of her, not of me, because right, I right. stayed, you know, I'm not that yeah. good to look at like that. <laughs> but I took her picture. Right. I was like, man, that's nice right there. Man, they got the green. So all of it was look, looking nice back then. Yeah. So and it still um, look nice right now. No, it's all way, it's, it's better. I didn't get to see everything. We couldn't open the doors, you know. Right. I was trying to be careful. I didn't we know didn't nobody. We didn't get a tour like we did. <laughs> Damn, let me go in there and look in there. What's in that room? You right, see, right, you right. couldn't look. Right. But I did look in the room with the light he showed us. We mm-hmm. did see that room because the light, it was open, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. yeah. So that was the only one we really... Was, that's the dressing room. Yeah, I was like, damn, you got it going on. And I had a photo shoot thing going on. Boy, he made me look bad. Boy, I used to look bad. I was, damn, when I got over there, I said, because we had did the little green room over there with the little right. shot we had made. Right, right. It, was, it wasn't like yours. It wasn't like that. But we had a green room. <laughs> 
we the had a, we, mm-hmm. yeah we had a, 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 a the studio in there capsule in the front so we had merch i always put merch right right i gotta right. get you so we gotta we gotta do some hand to hand before yeah. you get up out of here nah, i got you i want something you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah 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 so even if i bought yours i'll be down there trying to put something in there so when somebody right. come in because my thing is the flip i like right, to flip right. you know right. what i'm saying so right, when right, i see right. you i'm like oh this is an opportunity right I, he ain't getting out of here this is my domain and that's the way i be thinking right right, right. and i'll be trying to flip a product i'm telling you how i think yeah. and that's yeah. that's what you should think when you're a hustler right you know but at the end of the day let's just tell us how you done that yes yeah, so i decided i built the studio out for a whole nother it's, that's a whole nother conversation but i you know i built it out um and i was probably about seven years you know ahead you know it was just people didn't understand so i was i was thinking i at the, about that time at b watts uh out in uh deep ellum you remember that mm-hmm. talk eddie, about it with eddie oh, that was freddie yeah or freddie freddie yeah. that was it freddie <laughs> and Fred, a-ok Fred, right Ed, yeah <laughs> and y'all hit it on right away yeah so yeah we did we did we all clicked okay. you know what i mean and then at that time i decided you know i was i was thinking about doing the studio that's what it was uh-huh right and then, y- you yeah know, yeah and i was thinking about it it went like some months like six or seven months and i ended I tell, up getting a studio in brown lane and right. aok went around and he he had right, saw right. You, saw i remember you, that you, shit and you had the studio over there because i went to la that's what happened with the disconnect happened. i went mm-hmm. to la to uh i was thinking about doing what i did here in dallas in orange county that's what okay. I was, that was going to be the play mm. And so they have that secondary airport out in Orange County that you can fly directly into from Dallas to Orange County. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, man, I can get a car, just Airbnb, the studio, have a car there, mm-hmm. and then I could fly back and forth. Wow. You know, but I decided when I came back, <clears throat> I was just thinking, you know, LA's got all the resources, they got everything. I'm from Dallas, you know, was, you know, raised my whole life in Dallas. So I was, you know, I, I don't know, it was a lot of back and forth. You know, it was a hard decision. Yeah. But I decided, you know, to keep it in Dallas because wow. Dallas doesn't have it. And I was like, man, I'm just going to jump in, cannonball. You know. And so I came back and I, I, got, I found a studio, moved my office in there, and I was just dabbling. I was just feeling it out, you know. And uh, I was I was in the restroom. I came out, <laughs> I ran into AOK, and he was like, man. And I was thinking, man, you know, is this, you know, I meet him back when I was locked up. I can't remember, man. You know what I'm <laughs> keep it real yeah 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 you know, and he's like his a-ok would be wise and i was like no way you know because i had lost their you know their, their contact their, their, their mm-hmm. contact it was like phones got to change and numbers changing and shit so yeah it was like it was i don't meant. know like a year later or something shit, yeah. or however much time, how much time was that, that yeah that was, was a yeah, year or so I had, yeah i was in like two three yeah that was. it was like a year or two had passed yeah so yeah. it was a trip that i just ran into them again you know and mm-hmm. so that's where things started to escalate. I saw what they were doing now, and uh, I had a buddy of yeah, mine. Yeah, cause then we had the studio jumping. Already, oh, no, 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 no. jumping right? Yeah, yeah like yeah. that was bumping. No, no we they had, weren't playing. Man. We had everybody. <laughs> listen, man. Let me tell you something. <laughs> we had yeah. Asian daughter, bro. Yeah. Listen, Asian daughter. Listen, I believe Hold it. On. I, I ain't gonna even start. No, no, no. Listen, I'm gonna tell you. I believe. You. I'm gonna tell you why. Because when KLC was here, we told some stories, right? KLC right. was like, man, I remember. Uh, I had uh, KLC was like, we had uh, Master P in there, uh, his brother Silk the Shocker. He had uh, Fiend in there, mm-hmm. and he had a uh, 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 baby, right? Baby, the the with, with Cash Money in right, there, right? And he said No Limit had just started the buzz, and they were all freestyling to the beat. You know, he made the beat, <laughs> right? I said, Are you serious? He was like, Yeah, that that uh, that uh, Body Body was just starting the buzz. That's what okay. he said. Yeah, yeah. That Body Body, and he said they were all freestyling the Body Body. And then he wow. told me, he said, I met, and I'm just telling you how it go, mm-hmm. the, the people when they first coming up, he yeah. said, I met Manny Fresh and Baby before they met each other. Right. That's what wow. he told me on the show. I was like, dang, like, I, I you'd have never knew that. Like, how right. far, you they they know. all in third war, in war. So yeah, when you yeah. say I met Asian Doll and I had this one, Man. hell yeah, I believe you, because I right know people before. have to start somewhere. Right. Like, right. like, my partner brought her to me, my partner sleep. He yeah. been recording me for a while. He, brought, he was like, man, this girl gonna be something. He was like, she gonna be some wise. He was like, look, people liking her on the internet. And he, he was like, I'm gonna get on the song. I'm gonna get on the song. I'm gonna call it get up here. Man. Y'all got she, she came She came there. Nah, this was like, she ain't even had no deal, E. And you slept on her. Right? You slept <laughs> on her. 
No, you slap on her, bro. Chopped her stuff up. Like, you chopped her. Hey, yeah, but you should have been like, hey, you know what? Don't listen to the first mixtape. Yeah, you you should have been like, hey, Asian doll, that. you know, um, you, you since you're not signing here, I got some paperwork. Yeah. For you. <laughs> but you, I wasn't. I wasn't. Now you wasn't signing uh, people. You know I know. What I'm saying because I had so many artists that that I was just you was just doing music for. That's the same way KL you know, was. KL, you know. So I I was just really chilling. I just liked the music vibe. So but wasn't wasn't she signed to what was that dude? Is that now uh, she ended up signing Maserati. Maserati. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. She ended up signing yeah. Maserati wow. yeah. after that. Uh, so she, yeah, who else? Who else came through? Uh, I know, and I'm talking about. And now. then no, that was just at Brown Lane. Brown no, I'm talking Lane, about artistic. Let's get over mm -hmm. to artistic. I want to yeah. know yeah. when y'all said, so, "Damn, he got you see, got nervous but, when the know, person you showed know, up." No, but Brandon, no, he had all that stuff going on, so okay. I was sort of watching. You know, I was like, "Oh yeah, you know, he, so, they were on three, <laughs> four day runs." You know, <laughs> in the yeah, studio. I know that was a wild time, man. I was just starting to have kids. Oh yeah, you were kicking it. So you talking about, boy? It was a lot. I, yeah. I bet it was a lot. I, I used to have the kids up there sometimes. Of course, you know what yeah. I'm saying. They, yeah. they had a little cot right there. It's going right. down. Right. Yeah. <laughs> who else? Who else did real. you deal with during that time? That that uh, it, 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 any more named? The road yeah. was coming in that in. No, the road didn't come to that. The road came to uh, artistic, artistic visuals. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 So did I say artistic, right? artistic visuals? Yeah, uh -huh. I said artistic visuals. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, artistic yeah. visuals. Visuals. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Artistic visuals. Uh, yellow came and got that beat. Uh, what beat? Uh, you can't that, just uh, say yellow came and got that go. beat. Yeah, hey, we. Well, not many hey, beats yellow go. got. Yeah, he got, he got. Okay, what beat we talking like, about? We had Sean in there. We had who else? Who, <laughs> YL would come in. Yeah. Man, we had so many. You talking about that? Which one? Lil Yachty came in there before. At he was in You talking about artist? This this at this at um Brown Lane. Oh, y'all were kicking it. We had without Doug. Yeah. I'm talking. Doug I'm, I'm was watching. About, Doug like hell about, yeah. I gotta I get this over there. I was in the same. I was in the. I was in the same studio with him. Oh, so you hanging out? Yeah. No, I had my own shit. Oh, you had your own. Okay, they were down. Live hallway. this studio, wow. but yeah, it was, nah, was, was popping. That shit was lit. Back. And whose studio who was that one? Run to. It was called Brown Lane. Whose studio right. was um, that one? It was uh, just. It was a yeah, Brown, everybody. Yeah, this, well, no, it was this guy, my, my that you know created that. It was the first co-working facility, but it was a co-working right. facility for the entertainment industry. No, right. one, no one's done that. You know, so what a they, bunch of know. little studios. Okay. Yeah. So okay. you, it was yeah. like y'all were there. You know, what I'm wow. saying? Like this whole everybody setup would have right a here. setup in each yeah, room. Yeah. So it was like wow. a college How many campus. Rooms? You know, yeah. it's like That's 20, dope. twenty thousand square yeah, foot yeah. place. Woo. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. And that doesn't exist anymore. Nah. Nah. He sort of. Right. Packed everything up one night. And, yeah. Why? It seemed like it was so good. I don't, so know. Good. I don't, know. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is today. <laughs> what do you know? I so might, what I, might, I might pack up after y'all leave here. Pack this up and go. go. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know. We was looking at, huh? Because it was going good. Y'all were y'all having business. What happened? What? Like you show up the next day and all all the I'm gonna go. We like I got to get the hell out of here. Wow. I was like, hold on. No. paid our rent <laughs> he got out of there didn't he but see i seen that shit coming that's that's really what the story i saw that i saw that coming but you everyone did. you know what i'm saying why well, did you see, see it, coming? it coming no how did you see it no, coming. no one's seen it coming. no but how did you see it how coming? did you see it because i just been around I've no been around. don't get no, it he don't slide through you know that either how no. did you it was some signs you see some signs what, what did handwriting's you, on the wall you know it was just you know some like employees and stuff you know like man he just took all the money out of the bank i, I don't want to get into all that but i was just like you know i was saying this dude is a perfect bankruptcy scenario you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> you know he was playing this shit he out like, i'm like, getting the hell said, out of here head, i'm like man. shit seven months this dude found bankruptcy and he gonna get away with everything everything mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. he leaves so i said i said fuck that i went to the uh property okay. you know the dude that actually owned all the property that's where it go went to him is like hey do you got another space you know i'm just not feeling it over here this is what i'm trying to do you know i need my own shit where i'm by myself and he said matt we got this church is moving out <laughs> And uh, I, take I, took, I took B Watts over there, and he was like, you know, God dang, you just gonna jump into it. And I was, yeah. I was, fuck it, let's go, man. So I signed a five year lease. Wow, you that was be, I mean? that was this one or that was another? No, no that's the place y'all were in. Wow, I signed, okay. I signed a five year lease on that deal, and I was like, man, I went in and gutted that place. Yeah, you know, built it out, and I then mean, and you did that after I all mean, the one it closed, was from wild after Brown to closed. Wild. Yeah, like, so you could <laughs> grab everybody, all the business that they were having from there. It, they needed somewhere to go, so they. 
Now you created nah, a space. Nah, nah, nah. nah he, he didn't want them. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want that shit. He didn't want them. He didn't want them. I want them. Want them. Want them. <laughs> real, you know what I mean? Though, they, now you wanted to be what, tasteful. What, what Watson A OK? You know, I was looking at. Yeah, I was, I was at, watching at the time. Them, I was, you know? Yeah, at the time I was dealing with the kitchen, and they was bringing right. big name artists. That's right. Through. Remember Rich yeah. the Kid? And then I brought Rich, Rich the, kid, the Kid. Yeah. Hey, what about the features y'all yeah. ran up on that shit for that boy? Wow. Oh, tell, shit. You got to tell like, that one. Man, that was like, about, I, I saw, it was probably about 80000 made in my studio. Yeah. Wow. In less than four hours off right. of artists. Wow. This, was, this was some impressive shit. And features. I, I, <laughs> our oh, features. features. Yeah. I mean, Was that the most you've ever seen, And this made? one, the Hover Boys yeah. had just came Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. He was on the Hover Boy, just Hover Boy and... For the studio, he's just going back and forth. Was he ripping them verses just, like that? Man, they were coming in and paying for him. No, he was ripping them old though. Man, yeah, it yeah, was good yeah, stuff. Yeah, and he was laying, he was laying them down real quick too. And they like real quick. He one of the quickest ones I done seen from everybody that does this same technique. He one of the quickest ones I done seen. I heard Rick Ross was over there too. Huh, Ricky. Ricky yeah. Rose, hey. <laughs> yeah. But two two years later, Rich the Kid came in concert. Remember that shit at the Gas Monkey? Yeah, yeah. And so we we pulled up there. We didn't have no phone numbers, right. no nothing. We just brought some big cameras with us, and we were like, "Hey, we're the camera crew." So we and they let y'all in. You know, yeah. yeah. So Every, we boss hogged that whole situation. already. Like we weren't we weren't even supposed to be there. Right and before so, uh, uh, Trill Sammy. Right, Trill Sammy. Right. Yeah, he right. wasn't. He yeah. wasn't even blew up. Trill yeah. Sammy and uh, old, old boy, the uh, the Dice other Soho. guy, Dice Soho. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They wasn't even blew up. They had came from Houston to Dallas, and we popped up in there with them cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was a problem. But, but that Rich the Kid deal, we we snuck in there. You know, like we weren't even supposed to the be there. Monkey, right? They didn't right, figure right, it out. Right, but we got through yeah. security now because they just seen the big ass cameras. They like, oh, this guy is it. Just look legit. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. So hey. we went in there, and then and then they were getting ready to do sound check. So his manager was like, "Everyone need to get you know the fuck out of here, right? No matter who you are, you gotta yeah. go." So yeah. they got they had the gas monkey, the big old security dudes. They they kicking everyone out, and I was like, "Hey, you know." And he looked at me, and then B was with me, and we were like, "Hey, remember when y'all ran up them? You know what I mean?" On the studios when yeah. they ran up all that, you know, sixty to eighty thousand dollars. They remember right. who so we they were. remembered you. So right. they were like, everyone yeah, yeah, gotta go, but these no dudes choice. are cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then me and Wise, you know, we on stage. Chill. You know, we just rich the kid while he's doing sound check and they kicked everyone else wow, out. Wow, that's the whole, dope. Yeah. You know, the venue and shit. And then we we're they were like, What y'all trying to do? And I was like, Man, we wanna, you know, we wanna come in and live switch. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like yeah. television Film everything. shit. And they're like, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we and went. We it went back. Night. Yeah, we went back to the studio. Packed up the whole entire studio, and then y'all be back working. Out there. That, that's work yeah, ethic. Man, what, yeah. and you right. was just, how many people with y'all? Just shit. We were running like back man, then. about five, six, seven, yeah. something like. I that. I would say about six people. Wow. Right? But we were doing like. You know what a crew of 10 12 people should do, but y'all like, we coming, we coming home, right? And then no one understood what we were doing because they're like, Well, did y'all right. get paid because it was shit? so new, you know what I'm saying? Nobody hadn't even and heard like, of it. Y'all no. are charging for this, shit like, no. y'all aren't getting paid, no, but you but just like, working. We, we didn't have a resume, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mm. just, just working, kept building your resume. So, what people didn't Turn understand is we were, yeah, we were building our resume the whole time, mm -hmm. they thought we were idiots. You know, but, but I like but the now, way how you did it. How really, you just, how they just pushed in. But really, it was getting ready for what was going to happen. Right, for real, right. Nah, for That's real. That's the way God works. Like for real, He have you prepared. You, uh, the steps yeah. of a good man is all about the Lord. So, mm -hmm. we, so we did that. We did that. Real. We did the same thing with Boosie. You know wow. what I'm saying? It was uh, showed up it, on him. It was, it was John with DGs. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was at DG. You know, well, DG's nah. the only, he was the one that oh. put the the money up for that show. Okay. Mm -hmm. For Boosie, it was Boosie. It was was it just Boosie. Uh. It I was can't Boosie remember. and G Jeezy, right? No, that, Jeezy was another show. No, Jeezy was another show. Yeah, I can't remember. I think show. I think it was maybe Boosie and Dro. No, because Dro came with Webby. Came. I, I don't remember, but Boosie it was the main the main he was the, he was the headliner. He was, he was the headliner on the situation. And so we did the you know hey can we shoot your show so and, and he was like yeah you know because he thought we were gonna come out with little DSLR cameras and shit so y'all came like, out with the bangers yeah, I mean, we boys. were bringing rolling in like seven hundred thousand eight hundred thousand dollars with the TV gear yeah 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 so when we show up to the venue man the security they're like man what's all this shit yeah and I'm like dude I got the email right here for the guy who put the money up for the show that you got a guy you know that got you guys got a contract with him so I was like shit we'll leave it's bull crap right. Around. 
And so the security, he looks at all the gear and shit, and he's like, you know, they don't want that shit to leave. No, nah, he's like, come on. So nah. he gets the managers. So I talk, you know, management shit with them. That's I'm like, like saying, shit, you going to turn down free promotion? That, that right, makes sense. Right. So they're there like, fuck it, come on in. So I was like, oh, cool. Is, is that the sound engineer? And he's like, yeah. I was like, we need a right and left channel, you know, over our video village. Yeah. Right? So no one knows what the fuck we're doing. They just let you roll. They just let us in there, and then we weren't yeah. really supposed to get audio. I ain't gonna, ain't gonna lie to you on that shit. Like, we, we, yeah. <laughs> nah, so we then we ran into, real audio. So we ran wow. real audio over to our boards, and then Waz in there doing his magic, and we had that shit sound like fucking BET Awards, right. didn't we? Wow, right. that shit was lit. That's really Say, where it man, all started, that, man. Yeah, oh, I know. Well that, well, that was where it started on coming out of the studio. Mm. You yeah, know what that's saying? coming out of the studio. You mentioned but, BET you know. Awards. Um, so it, do you think that there will ever be a time when we can start a, either a award show or something uh, here, in Dallas. here in Dallas that yeah. where we can have people come out? You know? And what will it take for that to happen? What do you feel like it would take? No, nah, I think, I mean, Watts, you know, Watts, Watts has always said that. I'm going to give that, you know what I'm saying? And and then through the years, you know, I've I've thought, things myself in my head but like a third a third coast hip-hop award show and it can happen you know we you know really we're a company a solution-based company at this point um we've got a huge resume we've shot probably what over 20 Shoot. mainstream artists yeah you know in a live televised deal i mean we've, we've give done, me some examples i know you said uh, you work with erica a little bit right erica but yeah so you know we, we've done stuff with her but when we first started i mean like rich the kid okay Trill sammy die soho yeah. to you know to jeezy any, anywhere yeah you know o, ot yeah, genesis yo OT genesis yo got it yeah. you know young Dolph, that was uh boosie anybody Webby, that came through the gas you know, monkey though. y'all shot yeah. all of the visuals yeah. yeah it was 20 yeah. to 30 mainstream artists that we've got wow. you know yeah. so do you have a contract now with you know, Ga not now but back then with gas monkey that everybody that came through <clears throat> big artists no, nah, we didn't want to do that because see, see, they had the jumbo screens <laughs> yeah. and they had their camera guy. Yeah, oh, okay. they got so they they, they, they really had a switcher over. there. They just didn't know what y'all were doing. They, they, they didn't know what we were doing, and we didn't want them to know what we were doing. Okay, okay, okay. Because they would have replicated our. That's shit. That's right. That's you know right. What I'm saying you know. so, and then everyone and they else already big TV you know, and everything. They got everything and they, they, they need. They don't know how to use yeah, it. Right. They got everything. So what we did is we went live recorded. So okay. we've got full blown, you know, like Revolt TV quality mm -hmm. content, like over twenty artists, wow. hour, hour and forty five, two hour sets, yeah, like that no one's got. So, mm. so with that said, how hard is it to to start something up to where you can place it on a network and have it to where you can get episodes put out? Very difficult. Very yeah, difficult. If you think Why? The, if you think the music industry is difficult, TV yeah. industry is like. Yeah, it's very difficult. But I see a I lot of people drifting to the TV industry right now. Because it's lessening up all of those hard stops it, it that is, it used to have. Yeah, it... it, it, it I imagine yeah, they're probably trying know. to save on their budgets, right? What's that? So I can just go get Low Blow Joe over here and save on yeah. my budget and then... And hey, the reason I said it because see reality at, TV you know, and all kind of stuff just popping up. People getting And on. this dude, he probably got a social media of 10,000 people and good. Yeah. And I can go get him and work and then... But yeah, because on Instagram, I see a lot of people promoting and showing people who was never in that industry before and just yeah. now starting. Oh, I have a show coming out on CW or I have a show coming out on Fox or I have a show coming out on here. Right. That's what I'm like. And that, before it wasn't like so, that. So, well, so like your Netflix and your YouTubes and your Apple Music They're or Apple over. TV, they've took over. Mm -hmm. So the CW 33, anything on a network based situation, they desperate. I mean, I just call it what it is. I mean, you know, and, and so, so the kids listening, like, you know, y'all have all your kids like, here. Right. How many so are people they, are watching are they, TV? No, YouTube, Nobody. YouTube. Man, that's what I was going right. to say. Are they watching TV? Are no. they when they get in the car? Are they watch? Are they listening to they FM don't hear None of that. It's right. not like it used to be. No, it's all changed. Mm -hmm. So it's an it's that's another thing that's happened over the last couple of years that it's all changed and it's really in a weird space. Like even the big corporations are trying to figure out how to monetize and do you know. And do you think it'll you know, get extinct? Well, no, you know, because you so still either. need airways. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't. Let me so television. Let, this is the same me, thing we know. asked somebody about radio. We said, "Do you we think asked the Jay radio?" Cruz and we yeah, asked, we said, uh, "Do you Vita think Loco. the radio is going to go anywhere?" Yeah. Let me ask because right. I know what they said, but what, 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 do, you, what do they say? That's no, what I'm, I want to hear wanna, what you're going to say first, and I'll tell you what they said. I almost want to hear. Okay, you think I'm going to say I'm going to say no because you always going to need radio. But who listens to radio anymore? 
Why? Like, Why no? Because who? Who? Some people. Some people just want to listen to something different. Probably what? don't have they MP3. Probably can't even touch their phone. They driving. What if they're what, a truck driver? What you think? I think it's gonna go away. Really? I do. I think it'll. I think. Well, I, let me rephrase that. I don't think it's gonna go away, <laughs> but I think someone's gonna come in and buy some shit out, and it's gonna get. You know, it's just gonna go all to what they call like uh, Apple Music is OTT is what they refer to that. And you know the streaming stuff like SoundCloud, it's it's going to go in that direction. So you think they're going to buy them out? Well, like it's, Apple it's, or somebody it's, will it's, buy them it's, out. It's, it's, it's going to be forced to go that way because mm. when when the newer generations come up, they're not going to listen to you know they're just not unless they come back and they switch up the way they're doing with FM radio. I mean, what, right? You know, well, they they did right. take out the CD. Players. What? Did, well, you, you want to let they them know said, what they said? Um, they said I think it was Jay Cruz who Jay said Cruz. this. And he said, because it's free. Yeah. When there is nothing else nowhere. that really is free. You can, like when I used to drive to work every day, yes, I have a cell phone, but it was easier to turn on the radio and just right, listen to the radio right. to work. That's the only time I ever listened to the radio. When I get home, of course you're not turning on the radio. But they got you. They got they got YouTube. It's driving they got YouTube back and forth. And yeah. SoundCloud, I think you can but listen the younger to it. Kids, and you don't have to have, you know, that yeah, you're not yeah, paying yeah. for it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm just saying that... You don't have to pay for that. No. Mm -mm. Not even the Wi-Fi or anything so, like that. So there was an exec... One of the music execs broke it down one time. You're either paying with your eyeballs, right? Mm -hmm. So it's free content, but then you're going... You know, you're either paying with your eyeballs to watch a commercial or with your ears you're listening to commercial. Mm -hmm. Right? commercials will pay for everything. Right. So if you have the money and you're fortunate enough to pay for the subscription, now you're getting com commercial free. Mm -hmm. Right? But it's all free. And so I've even seen a trend with the kids right now, a bigger trend that, that like people are actually watching YouTube like television. No, when I say you know free though, no, but when I it, say and it's, free. And it's been that way for a while, but I'm, I'm talking like really watching yeah. it. Like there's shows starting to come out. Right. You know but what I'm saying? I, but when I say playlist. free, I'm talking about, yes, YouTube is free if you're, uh, you're going to listen to the commercials and stuff like that. But if you don't have Wi-Fi on your phone and say, you know, you can pay your bill or whatever and you're driving to work, yeah. so you have no Wi-Fi, you can't listen to YouTube because you have no Wi-Fi. Mm, man, that's still, yeah. that's you still, see what I mean? you know what I'm so saying? You, you're not just you going to drive in the car know. and listen to nothing. No, you're right, not, no, so you're, you're going to so, you're, so when you're, I mean that's free, you <laughs> don't need anything but, except from gas to get back and forth to work. But, the, but then they're not going to be the powerhouse that they are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think they lose their power, business. but yeah. I think they're you know still saying, yeah. Kind of so, lose so kind of. If you if you look at it on on a music kind of. standpoint or a, a business standpoint like that, but they're going to lose a lot of money. They're right. going to lose know, a lot. They already of are right now. They I mean, definitely yes, they've to, lost a lot of money. I talk to independent radio stations yeah. like down at Waco and stuff. Yeah, they've lost. They make a lot all of money. their money off digital online. Well, and, and, they and, make and, more money off their digital online website than they do. Well, that's because it's through exactly. You know, I'm like shout out radio, to podcasters, you know, man, so, like myself. You know, you know, we're taking over the waves. You know, we're on <laughs> right, Apple, we're right. on Spotify, <laughs> right. we're on right. yeah, Joe Rogan, all us, right. man, yeah, all us. Yeah. We taking it over. It's, right. it's pretty and, obvious. And what, next thing it's you pretty know, obvious what's they going come on. In and say, hey, you get the morning show. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Come and on over here. We're going. Yeah, yeah. How much y'all paying? Because right. if you're paying, I'm staying. You <laughs> right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, I'll get in there at 4 30 in the morning. Check it out, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I'm here this morning, man. Hey, man, we're going to start off by saying, you know, thank God for the day, man. Let's get our morning started. Whoever's getting up to go to work. Right. You know, I bring it on. Oh, man, like, yeah. that might have been a live edition right there. <laughs> right, right, right. He's trying to get his radio <laughs> drop set. <laughs> no, so, are, are you, uh, so you guys done had everybody over at the studio doing videos. You got a green room in there. You got all type of places in there. To, you got engineering studio. Uh, you got switches for podcasts. Y'all got everything over right. there. Y'all got everything over there. I just went over there and I was like, damn, I got to step my game up. I'm serious. Right. I love the setup over there, man. For thank real. You, thank you. Yeah, you did a great job with that, man. That had to be, you, right, like he, mm -hmm. like you had to be a thinker to do that. Right. And and you had to yeah. put that money up. Oh, <laughs> right. my goodness. No, yeah, no, that's the, that, yeah that you was, had to put that yeah. money up. You had to yeah. be a thinker and you had to put that money up. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, right. I'm putting this money yeah, up. Yeah, it was like, you know, shit. Yeah, put, put a million <laughs> on black. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put that wheel. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, let that that yeah, yeah, there you go. Like, I told you that. you like, you got yeah. some big balls yeah, to do that, buddy. Like, oh, yeah, ain't nobody else got this. Well, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Ain't nobody else Wise, got that. Wise, I got Wise, one of them too. I will say, you know, why's why seen that whole shit? 
Yeah, we did. <laughs> How so, did you? You know, we stripped that thing down, and yeah. we weren't playing. The you know, pod? But, but the studio. You know, I want to be clear on that because you were saying videos, right? So, like, our studio is to, is the main thing is to be to produce live content. See, that's what I was just about right? to ask. So it's you. it's really a TV broadcast studio. Oh yeah, it just so happens we got all that other stuff. Oh, I, put, yeah, I, put the, I put the psych walls in there just to have you know another revenue stream coming through as we were building our vision of being a broadcast studio. Wow. Right. Right. Most so of, it's an artist. Most of the people like in my section wouldn't have saw no studio right. like that. No. Like because what is AMS? That's the big one that's in town. Right. That, right. So you have AMS pictures I, like out of Addison, you know, I, but they do big agency stuff, million okay. dollar shit, you know, so multi To get million, in there you, know, you gotta be sitting on one of them tables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's it's fifteen <laughs> it's fifteen a day to roll through a studio, you know, yeah. on the low end. You know, wow. per day, just to even do business. Man, you know, so they're not trying. They ain't trying to do no hip hop. It's heavy. So how many deal. studios in Dallas are there like that? So <laughs> so when we first started the studio, there was no studio mm -mm. like my studio. There was none. There was none. Zero. There was none. Mm -hmm. You know, there was. You had AMS and Studio One Twenty One in Haltom City, but they were doing agency stuff. You know, if there was a, mm -hmm. you know, if they needed to do a live feed for one of the news, that, you know, networks and stuff, they'd be set up where they bring the specialist in. It's dope. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's what they did. Mm -hmm. but they, they, they were in the big shit, you know, getting big money, you know. But when you look at entertainment, you know, music in general for Dallas, there was nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and then they don't want to deal with that shit because they don't have to. They're making... You yeah. know, eight hundred million a year, five hundred million a year in, in production. Lane gave us a, a outlet out here. A lane, you know, it, yeah, a it lane. Was an outlet. Cause who else wanted um, music in a? No, nobody wanted so music in a. Nobody. Building. When 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 people start coming and leaving, like the rich the, rich the kids or the the Rick Rosses or the G's or mm -hmm. whoever. They would tell other people when you go to Dallas, go by there and see Doug. Nah, and I, yeah. Artistic I visual studio, <laughs> not happening like that. Well, how did it happen? I <laughs> no, mean, like, how did you? Was well, it well, my, word of like, mouth or they, or they, no. they probably wouldn't say something, but then they'll call and be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, like whoever put it. Yeah. Nah, it was like it was like this, B. I just say what it I, is. Like whoever was putting the shit on, it was their production company. <laughs> Oh, they were lying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So it was more you know, like keep it to yourself and yeah. then we'll, we'll decide who we're going to let see it in. Right. You know, hold off. Uh uh. Yeah. Really? That's, that's know, been our life yeah. story. Wow. Yeah, but y'all kicked years. the door yeah. in, though. Because, yeah. So we, yeah, well, we put it on the neck. You know what I mean? We didn't let up. You know, we, nah. we were hustling seven days a week, still, still are. There ain't <laughs> nothing coming. But easy, do you take art, you know? like, so right now, if an artist wanted to come and do some studio time, Y'all don't take artists in to do studio time anymore. Nah, we've 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 changed it. You know, I mean, I don't know politically on that. If you like, wanna. like really, yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Doug. No matter the status yeah, of the artist, it's, it's really changed. No matter really? no matter it's the really status changed. of the, the artist, as much as nah, I mean, yeah. he's like, uh, let you me know, ask well, you this. Let, 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 let me go back. Let me go back. But still for the community. Don't get it. Yeah, because I was about to go back into something. Yeah, but the you know the bigger artists we have come through. Okay. okay, but even even now today, if it's a D list artist or a C list artist, like you know, we might not. So people know, so it, it, it's okay, go ahead. I, I would say, like Brandon said, first off, I want to say we all about the community, but you got to stay focused in the bigger picture, and sometimes you got to. Yeah. You know, we were all about the community when we first started. Mm -hmm. Like everyone came through that studio. Now we got the studio locked down. Man, I changed yeah, my number. You ain't getting a hold of me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, in, we're all about the community. I just had to step back on the marketing, the branding, and everything to get set up, to tee up, to go, you know, so we can have conversations right. like with Nike. I, I toss my you phone. Know, boom. <laughs> you know, gone. And so we, we really locked the studio down where if you come there and knock on the doors and shit, if we don't know you're coming, the door is not getting open, mm -hmm. right? It's no different going to K104 97. You're not just walking in there. And so we really... Right. We, we lock things down so we could regroup and build so we can get to the bigger stuff so we can circle back around in the community. You know, so you, you sort of have to leave the community alone right now to, to get the things, to get the big budgets to come through, you know, the Dallas market. Then then we can start giving back to the community and doing what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. okay. Right, Te television in Atlanta, LA, New York, and B always used to say it, you know, that it's a consumer market. That's what we're in. We're in a buyer's mm -hmm. market. 
the 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 powers to be don't want to change that. You know, they make all their money off shows. You know, that's where all the money is being made in the music industry is touring for the artists. So they kill it when they come out here to the Dallas market. They don't want they don't want no TV shit popping off out here. Okay. They don't want nothing big popping off in Dallas. That's going to change the dynamics of the money. That's right. I, I get that. Right, I was going right. I was going to ask you about Mo three and all the people that was coming out there during that time when I was seeing the artists as frequent there because I was watching Watts mm -hmm. and I would see the row over there. I would see how did that all? How did right. you guys end up having that to happen? Was that when you were really dealing with the people in the inner city? Well, you know, like, well, going back really real quick, you know, yeah. when, we, when we opened up the studio, I called up B and I was like, hey, I got I got this idea, right? Bring bring your sound shit over here. And then I was like, this is it. We did it. It worked. Brandon was just like, holy shit. And I was like, man, I knew this was it. Yeah. And that's where I had got my purpose in the music industry. I wasn't even in the music industry. I know I didn't know anyone nah, in the music industry at all. You know, so when we jumped into this deal, we jumped in. We didn't know anybody. And wow. in, in in five and a half years, whew, yeah, good. You know what I'm saying we've touched a lot of a lot of people out of Dallas you know, now. You know, like big. You know, from where we talked a little bit of air. The co-presidents of Rock Nation to you know we've we've talked direct with Coach K. Okay. You know, and a lot of big quality control. You know, Sony. Yeah. Um, God, man, BM was it BMG? A and R's from almost all every label. Yeah. Wow. Like. Y'all end up being a dream team. Right. So, but, <laughs> our, but our deal is not to get into, you know, we're not managers and trying to sign artists. Right. We're, just to, the, 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 we're a TV production company mm -hmm. trying to shed the light on Dallas Entertainment. So you that's why, saying? you know, some people want you to do that, but your focus is not that. You can't do Correct. it. But I'm you trying know? to understand how right. Mo3 and DeRoe well, so and cause, all, cause, these boy, trap had, boy, all these people end up in you all studio. Because we that, had the Black Box show. Yeah, we had a Black Box. You know. And then I know a lot of people, so... I Not get it, it. but yeah. what they doing over there? When y'all did, why well, my face so fresh? Do you want to be over there? No, I want to hear why why these people was over there. Why well, my so, face so fresh? Didn't you do so, that over there? Yeah, yeah. The so, so mm -hmm. yeah, the how did that happen? I'm trying to get that. into this. Right. right, so that's when I called Brandon up with the gear, and I was like, man, there's man. this thing called live streaming, and we can do live broadcast, yeah. bro. I just don't have the audio he was side. Saying, of the, you know. He was saying live streaming, and so we got in there and we was uh, we was in front of the cameras and we was rapping. And we set up just three cameras, and uh, I, I you know rapping. They was switching the cameras and stuff like that. Push play. We looked at it. Oh snap, that's cool. And then I got talking to Doug, and it was just more like, "Say man." These rappers will pay for something like that. That's a live music wow. video. Wow. Right. And Doug was like, Doug was like, man. And then Doug mine started wondering and going out. He started telling me about all this other stuff. And I, I you know me, I just sit back and listen. And then I'm understanding like, this is 30,000 times what it can be, you know, for yeah. Dallas. You know what I'm saying? We just lost 106 in Park. Like, it's mm. nothing that's right. else broadcast. Mm. Right. That's, 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 that's it. Anything, that's what I was trying to get you know, to. Yeah. You know, so it was just like, man, this is where it's at. Man. Why did the black box, did, what did it broadcast at? Man, that was back when yeah. uh, Facebook Facebook yeah. just yeah. launched oh, yeah. Facebook Live. Live. I'm talking like at the very beginning. Mm. You know what I mean? And, Man. and we piped our shit right into that deal, and that yeah. shit just skyrocketed. It How really did you come did. up with that idea? Man, Doug be Man. geeked out on yeah. that. And, 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 and <laughs> another thing, how did you even came up with that idea? Where are these videos at now? Can people go and research them on YouTube and all those platforms? Yeah, I mean it's out there. You know, we have, we have our, our YouTube channel, uh, Stream Music TV. You know <laughs> okay. that you could go to. But that, again, you know TV. that that was a jump off point. Even with the Stream right. Music TV, it's still there. But you know, we've grown to realize you know other things, and so you know we've sort of just iced that too as well. And I mean, I don't know any other way to explain it. You know, it's yeah, cause it's it's kind of hard, cause you know, Stream Music TV can be great but the one thing about it is that like we ain't trying to hold nobody hand or limit nobody you know what i'm saying so when it came to the point that to keep the show open you know it was best decided if we just shut it down you know i think the main thing y'all don't want to build relationships where you have to be counted like tied to different individuals to get them to do something right 
it, you you want to give them the freedom to go out and do explore whatever right. and still make it fun when they come through there. Right. And, and that's then that's we were a still that's a, that's a, at that time. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. But then well, you we know, had went to Colorado and filmed the oh, whole that was crazy. Man, medicine man. Yeah. We was <laughs> so meanwhile, you know, like like B and I see this shit. We start so, playing with it, and we we get things popping. And then this kid, uh, Space Boy Fresh, come through the studio, uh, through IK Studios with Elijah. Yeah, you know Elijah brought because they all grew up together. Space so, Boy, that's the same know, guy that's on the radio. Yeah. Okay. And so so they were like, you know, hey man, we got this dude we grew up with. Man, he's you know you're gonna love him. You know, wow. and it was Thanksgiving, you know, five <laughs> years ago. Wow. And that, through that holiday, he happened to be, because he always would say California, yeah. mm. you know, because he was growing up, you know, and born and raised in Oak Cliff, you know, and then, you know, when he got out of high school, he was like, fuck it, man. He got in a car and to L.A., you know, and he, he survived five years thugging it out, you know, in oh, L.A., wow. you yeah. know, meeting people and stuff. And then he came back that thanksgiving for his grandparents and stuff right you say meeting place, people you know? what was he meeting what is he doing man, he's oh, working, working now who the hell he thought he was See, sam colder man, or something he, 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 no he, guys, he, what the hell was he doing he up there a little bit you remember, of everywhere you remember uh was it memphis <laughs> I mean, yeah remember? so he, he comes to our studio and shit and then space is like man i think i got his number man, man. He goes through, remember that we always give him yeah. man this dude had everyone's number he even had uh where he was working with uh doja cat really yes yeah you know, and yeah. like have Doja Cat ever came down to Dallas and worked uh, with anybody? Uh, 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 no, uh, no, no, but he, he was in LA in the studio and he linked up. He you linked know what up, saying? and he just yeah, was space. in that group of people wow. before she was Doja Cat. Man, right. it was like, man, I used to we used to record with her, and that's dope, man. Like, yeah, that, that, so that's he, dope that he would have those contact, and those right. connections, like right, that. right. So he came back to Dallas for his grandparents and everything, and so that's how I got introduced. And then when he came in, I was just like, yo, this is this it be yeah, it does you know what I'm saying. It was like the, the, yeah. he he get hosted watch he go <laughs> he was like he yeah, got yeah. the feel good he about it he got everything yeah, the, you the, know the, on a marketing standpoint but then everyone yeah, in the city like, is like oh, that image. ain't gonna work yeah, you need yeah, to have yeah. everyone here in Dallas be like, like nah, it's gotta nah, be a nah, hot nah. bitch you, you gotta know? have who the hell was everybody now you can't make that open blanket stay who was it you don't want to say no name who the hell was it who the hell was said it wasn't gonna work shout out to the nigga who said it ain't gonna work cause it did work the nigga on 97.9 the beat now you know what I'm saying we open the door for yeah, that cat that, that, so hey, how did it hey, didn't work hey that's the thing too he even go to school for but now he went to school for audio engineering oh it worked like for, right. for for sales and stuff but you know he didn't go to school for brock you know and no now, no no now it he, worked yeah so he right. on air it worked and he right. killing it you know what and I mean? that's so, because he came under the tutelage of right. artistic visual studio yeah it was one of, but you yeah know that's why he started that. yeah shout out yeah i get real real wild about it yeah let's flex a little bit I'm like, yeah, that boy come from. Huh? That boy came from your studio. Now he on 97.9 The Beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good right, shout out right, right there. Yeah. Yeah, space, 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 Nah, he was going to come up here. Oh, no, man, you he, invested. He, you know what I'm saying? All, you invested in that, and you should be proud to speak up on that fact right. because that's what it's about. It's about developing and helping people nah, to grow. They are. I mean, like each yeah. each one brand it's, brand it's into so, all these kids. They're, they're, I call them the kids because yeah. I don't have kids. You mm -hmm, know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they all like like space. I say he's my stepson. Yeah, that's dope. Like really, you know what I mean? Like they got the keys to my fucking place, yeah. right? You know, I'm like shit. If I had a access to a multi million dollar facility when I was y'all's, I'd never leave the motherfucker. Yeah, right. right? And that's B. You know, but the B had kids, you know, so there was responsibilities there, but Space still don't have kids. So yeah. he's, he's up in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, they doing, they ain't just freeloading. I mean, they they putting the work in and in the grind, you know, to see this vision come for the city. Wow. That's what the city doesn't understand. Wow, that, that's and the, dope. And the city yeah. really don't understand what, they're, what we've got. You know, we're not trying to control everything. We're trying to, trying to put the fucking city on and put the Batman light on the city to the nation. Well, I'm just and thanking we, God. We, I met we, you, we, and we've got, we've got, we've got everything. You know, we need to be able to do that. You know, uh, uh, David O. You know, uh, we were on tour with him pre-COVID. You know, yeah. we were going to do a whole pay per view right. concert. Man, David series. O. I looked that boy up. He got about 25 million followers yeah. on, on Instagram. Just right. Instagram. Not so clean. all social media right now, he's around 50 million. Content. You know, wow. yeah, that yeah. Is killing it. <laughs> so yeah, he, yeah. he's a global superstar. Yeah. right? He, they could have picked anyone in the world. They're yeah. from giant Nigeria. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. So like, how how do we get that out of Dallas, Texas? So those are the things that continue to happen for us. Not give up on the dream. 
But you know I, what I'm saying? I, I and we were, we were blessed it. to work, you know, with Erica. You know, yeah. so you know, Erica Badu. She, Didn't you do like a site that cipher for him, or, or, or how, did you record that for BET? Or how, how did that go? Yeah, so they, you know, she she had reached out, and you know, we were building a relationship over the years, and she's like, "Man, remember that crazy streaming shit you were talking about? Let's, let's do that shit." <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like so, that. So you know, we pulled up, had a conversation, and you know, things were right. So you know, we got together. You know, of course, you know, she directed, produced, of course. you know, the whole shit. Man. We were just we were the tech company behind something great she dope man and then to be you know chosen you know from her you know like no. the the stuff that no, we got to do is you know what i'm saying it was just it was such an intimate sit setting to and the and the energy you know what i'm saying that that was there with everybody i seen the, the so i seen the visual it was really historical shit yeah, i opinion. seen the visual you and i'm telling saying? you when i seen it you know, was dope so we're, like we're, we're blessed that you know that she you know that she re yeah, yeah that she chose us that's you know dope. what I'm saying so you can't give up again right, right? you know you what I'm saying know so it's like since then you know we've had a chance to work with Boosie yeah. uh, you know a lot with him you know over uh, you know N chopping NBA it up young boy. yeah NBA young boy we did his, we did right? his first show out right right and, and, and the only live the stream pay per view yeah. that's ever been done that was the only boy. one wow. Wow, y'all, y'all visuals. Hey, man, so, I went to the studio, dog. I'm telling then, you. You know, like our relationship. I drove out. You know, remember I went to uh, Baton Rouge on my own. I drove his whole scout squad back from uh, Dallas to Baton Rouge. Damn, you wrote with NBA young boy. Yeah, with his family. <laughs> he had them burners. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, they had them no, burners yeah, in yeah, that yeah, thing. Them boys so. had them burners. Yeah, they were, <laughs> They were, you know, they were like, oh, you oh, want to drive right there? They were like, okay, you know, the, well, you can drive right now. And I was like, y'all <laughs> quick, y'all quick to throw the white boy in the driver's seat. You know what I'm saying? Going oh, across, them boys, they, you, they see you coming a mile away. Coming across state lines, I called my boys. I was like, hey, man, I, shit, we still good. I made, <laughs> <laughs> I made it across state lines. You so know I, I wasn't, I wasn't I right. Ain't, I, ain't, I ain't asking nothing. Nothing wild you know going saying? on. You know, you know. Was it you know, wild moments or was it nah, just a cool, cool ride? That was cool, you know that's what I'm dope. saying? Because, you know, shit, I went out there by myself and, you yeah. know, and that's, you know, when I met his mom and dad, you know, I was actually out there where he was on house arrest and stuff, talking wow. to the family, barbecuing wow. and shit. And, and uh, you know, and then they took me down where College Street, you know, like mm -hmm. in the shit, right. mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> No, you Tell guys me, they keep that, the that ear bad, to the that, street, right? Yeah. That bad, me, bad <laughs> Rouge is. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about a project. Tell me about a project that you, you know, did that was um, somewhat difficult for you to do, or had its challenges, and how you overcame that project. Ooh, I would say you know last year, you know, because it really got turned up, you know. So when Erica came, she came hard and came quick, and it was and it was quick. So when you say quick, how quick? You know what I'm saying? Like we did this one deal, it was crazy, you know, and it was like seven days put everything together. And wow. you're talking serious like a 16, 18 camera shoot live wow. with And that know, was quick. Oh yeah. How long does it normally take? Man, Three, you're talking about some yeah, months sometimes. Man, you're talking months. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And you did it in seven days. Yeah. Wow. That's how much manpower did you have to use for that? Um, well, you know, Erica has a lot of resources, mm -hmm. right? So that, that helped in, you know, in that. And then, you know, so you got two productions, right? You gonna have, you know, she's got her band and you got, you know, the lighting, you know, so what type of lighting is going to be, you know, right. interacting into the live feed, you know, then, you know, on that one particular project, there was probably 60 to 70 people crew, you know, with her band and everything. And then, so you got one person just operating the comm units. Mm. so everyone can communicate mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. through this mm -hmm. through this massive deal so that you know so on a technical standpoint there's a lot of moving pieces in that but we did those flawlessly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know to where you know the pay-per-views were launched you know the the feeds didn't go down and we you know we had we had kick-ass production that was live live content it's very stressful and if know, somebody to wanted that. to um rent or hire you to do a production that they had in mind are you easy to reach? No. No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because it just, it, you know, it, you know, I don't, I don't want to sound like that. Could you answer nah, that? No, you just contact me. No. Right. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Like, you can reach me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How can they contact you, know. you B. Watts? <laughs> How can they contact me? Yes. Uh, at T Mix T Dunn. Right. <laughs> right. It just DM oh, okay. me. Okay. Right. Yeah, just DM me. Or okay, or, or, that's or, good to know because somebody might be yeah. watching and have some ideas and be like, oh, well, I can do it at his studio. Right, yeah. right. So you know, they need to know how to reach y'all. Yeah, right. like Brandon in the space really got the keys to the situation. And, okay. You know, 
but but you know again right. we're we're you know, yeah <laughs> space boy with an eye <laughs> <laughs> so i mean do you, know. you guys feel like um you know um you know who the next person is in dallas to that might might bring some Man, yeah, Doug right. just yeah. lace me up with yeah. these youngsters. Yeah, that's that what I'm. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to get. Oh. A, I'm getting. I'm trying to get somebody. I Man. keep my ears to the See, ground. Doug, Doug be listening right. to music. He'll send Doug, me stuff who did, on who did, Instagram. Who did you, who did, who was that? And they be lit. And then next thing you know, one week or two weeks yeah, later, pop. somebody comes sign them out of wow. the house. Yeah. Like and that's how it's been that's like dope. with our relationship. Yeah, we seen that like, like Erica Banks, you know, when she yeah. when she met fifteen oh one, that actually happened in my studio. Wow. Yeah. So Carl, yeah. Crawford was yeah. at the studio? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. What he was doing over there? <laughs> tell it. You know, you know, they were doing their thing. You know, feeling yeah. feeling things out. Yeah, yeah, you know they, yeah. Saying? Y'all and dope then, over you know, there though. So then, you know, she's she ended up signing with them, you know. So you so it was top off there? Um, on that deal, I don't. I don't think he was. I don't oh, think he was about, out there. No, 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 no. He no. wasn't over there. Any day. So they mm-hmm. went over there. Mm-hmm. No, I they, think she was with Top been, Off. They didn't been over. No, there she before, was with them. No. But, but, well, I, but, yeah, but she. I don't. I don't know how all that went down. I just know. Hey, we got some people coming through the studio, and there was some other people they playing. So yeah, know, I opened the door, and then and boom, it's fifteen on ones. Wow. There. And then, so, so you so, didn't yeah. even know who was coming. Not really. No. Sometimes we don't. We just be like, huh. Yeah, so because so, they know, you know, we keep again, two, we keep the place locked, then, quiet, safe. A year and, later, you'd be like, and, Oh, and they signed Megan the Stallion, yeah. and Megan the Stallion. Oh, dang, I we, talked to we had uh, our limb in the studio. Did a person ever come in and you didn't know ago. who it was, like you couldn't, didn't recognize them, but there's somebody big? No, I don't think that's nah. ever happened. I mean, we had the baby, you know, and he was in there like, man, he was in there for like two weeks. Like, he was living in two there. Two weeks? Yeah, damn near. Yeah, that right before he got signed, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, literally, he was in our shit, got on an airplane, went back to North Carolina, signed an interscope, and his shit just... <laughs> wow. To the moon. Yeah. That's crazy. So right. that's... A, but that got to be a good feeling, right? When yeah. you go mm-hmm. to the moon. Nah, he's, hey, he, he gave us he gave us a respect when he came back through. You know, when he blew mm-hmm. the fuck up, he came back through and, and still stopped by. And he, yeah. then he just signed uh, Stoner for Vega, and they came through our shit with him. Wow, that's yeah. dope. So we like so, his management team. Yeah, we we know love. them very well. That he showed love on that deal. Well, I'm gonna yeah. tell you right now, since I want to interview people so bad, I'm gonna rent that place out of yours down there. So when people come through, I can sit boss talk up in there, right? And I can get my interview right there right. too. Right. And if they're over here, we can do it over here. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be like that with mine, okay? <laughs> no, yeah, you, yeah, baby. shifting, we got, we shifting girls. I'm gonna be yeah. doing a podcast over there, mm-hmm. right? And then shift them over here, and we we rolling, right? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. Shout out to me. Shout out to me for being able to be. Look huh? all these clothes in here. Say, yeah, yeah. We right. can do we can do both. That's what I'm yeah. telling you. We ain't gotta limit ourselves here. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Can we do both? You yeah, shop we show no, the right. Damn, we can no, do we podcast. Right. That's it. That's right. it. So man, hey man, um, you got any more questions for him? No, unless you want to get on the top three. Top three artists of all times, man. Dead, Dead or alive. alive. Yeah, man, I like that one, man. Let's go. I want to go with I'm gonna go with you first. Man or woman. Doug. Doug. Number one. Ooh. Top three artists of all time. Oh. Number one, yeah. it don't, and it can be any genre. If you like, uh, male or female, Johnny Cash. Say Johnny Cash. Don't try to hold back. If you like, uh, uh, or Bob Marley. Uh oh, yeah. Oh, she <laughs> hit that Bob Marley. That's a tough. That's a you know. Give me my t- number one. You, you gotta know, give me three because this the, is a segment I do. I'm, at the age I'm easy, at, you know. Yeah, okay, is it yeah. easy? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Is he number no, one? But is he number one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, number I would one. Say, well, I mean, I would say like the easy and the whole NWA. Okay. Crew, so NWA you know number saying? one. What's number two? But then you know now you, you know, gonna say Dre like, number two? You, know, you all up in the West would, Coast? You think you I, West Coast? Really? And you wrote from with NBA Young Boy and them? You can't give them nothing? Ain't nothing wrong with no, that. No, 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 no. Hear what I told him? No, give no. it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you drove the van. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so who's number two? Oh. Somebody well, that you. I shouldn't get into this. <laughs> no, no, you have to. You got three. You know what I'm saying? Number two. You know? Everybody that ever been on the show answered well, this question. So, my number you know, two. Well, I'm going to roll with where I'm at today in my life. Okay, cool. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, I, I'd have to give Erica Badu. Okay, number two. There. Erica. Okay. Shout out Erica Badu. I'm, I'm, I'm probably, hey, hey, Doug gave okay, you number so, two. Hey, hey I'm, so I'm, I'm going to call you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's he's going to be down. With okay, it. so so you got. So, we got easy. Even the NWA number one. Number three. say, just as long as you don't look. Look at her eyes, dude. You good? You good? <laughs> She's you know beautiful, man. You know? <laughs> number number three. Right. 
Um, man. You know, today, yeah, in, in yeah, where I'm yeah. at today, I'd have to say shot A. Oh, that's dope. Oh, Give it up. You get a bump for that. Okay. You get a fist oh, bump for that. That's a nice one now, baby. So yeah. that boy say he NWA. Did, he did yeah, good. yeah, yeah. That boy say Erica yeah. Badu. He made sure to say yeah. the Badu. And shot yeah. And then he said yeah. shot A. That's a yeah. dope. That's yeah. a dope. No, that's yeah. a dope top three. Yeah. Now we ready for B Watch. You know what? That is our first Erica Badu. You think we, so? I think that nobody said no, Erica. No, you know. Who said Erica Badu? My boy. Who? Asshole and go. Oh, yeah, you're right. I played. He did. He did. I know. <laughs> he did. Hey, ING, right. you performed at a birthday right. party too. That's okay. her that's a guy. Now let's right. go. Be watching the building. I know he's going oh, with the primetime yeah, yeah, click. No, yeah, he was a part of the yeah. primetime no, click. No, so I know he's going to save the road. Right. Number one. Number yeah. one. But he going to come with the shit. You say artist, right? I, I don't care. Is this your number one artist? Top artist? Artist, music. Tupac. Okay. It's my guy right there, the Tupac, one. man. Number two. Number two. Number two. Artist, right? Yeah. yeah. George Clinton. Okay, I like that. That's a number first three. George Clinton. Number three. Number three. Man, number three, Whitney Houston. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's yeah. dope. That's yeah. cute. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's, that's cute. Artist. Because <laughs> Whitney, Whitney give me chills she when, chill. when she sings. Man, uh, so his I number like one that. was what? Um, Can't remember? Tupac. Number two. I, know I don't know third. that person's name because I George, George, George Clinton. Clinton. Okay, he go hard. Oh, I know Parliament. Funkadelic. Yeah, the yeah. Parliament. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're cute, dog. Yeah, yeah. I think you're cute, ain't you? <laughs> nah, nah. Oh, okay. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that's George Clinton, right? Yeah, yeah the dog. Yeah, George yeah. Clinton, dog. Right. Bow, yeah. wow, yeah, wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's yeah. their main song. I know. You know what I'm saying? But then he done made so many other songs, you know what I'm saying? And the other people adapted. Yeah. You really yeah. are not here <laughs> we come. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's that boy. And then, you know, it, it be so it be so many songs he can deal with so many people, but and then I done sample so many Boosie Collins. Yeah, like, yeah. From, but then but George Clinton, like he would put everything together, and then he would come out in these weird suits and stuff, and have yeah. everybody else dressing weird. Like, yeah, that was just. And then Whitney Houston, you watched the Bodyguard, huh? Nah, Whitney Houston. <laughs> I, man, my mama was listening to Whitney already, Houston. man. So I used to hear her voice Secret as a kid, and used to be like, yeah. man, like that's yeah, I'll be believe our children are the future. Right. Looking at. <laughs> So check it, man. Hey, man, we appreciate y'all for coming on the show, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, uh, your, your studio dope. I know we're going to work together. I'm trying to do some stuff with you. You already know that. Right. So if I can get it popping, man, I'm going to be putting, I'm going to get me a, a show or something. They playing in Dallas. Award right. show or something, you know. I'm, you know how I think. I go big, I go. I don't even do nothing little. Right. So we going in. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I got are, amazed. I was like, yeah, this it right here. I made it, baby, to Mecca the other day when I got down. So I got my mind right. going like this. Right. Like right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm linked. You know what I'm saying? So thank yeah. y'all for inviting us down. Right. right? Mm -hmm. Thanks for bringing us on the show, man. I mean, on the uh, to the, uh, the the studio. We appreciate you guys. Man, man. This is the first. There's no bullshit. This is the first interview we've ever done. That's good. Like, even be watched. That's I can't good. That shit. No I bullshit. broke a lot of them, you know? man. You know, like I say, prophecy. Right. Uh, it was his first one. Uh, Torn visuals. Mm -hmm. This has been a few. Uh, right. Heat HD. I like the people that's have behind the scenes. Have y'all enjoyed right. yourself? Yeah. How did oh, you like yeah. it? Yeah. No, it's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Like yeah it. Laid good, back. Kicking it. Good vibe. Boss talk. Boss talk. When the boss is ready, man. Boss talk. What a boss is talk, man. Holla at your boy, man. It's a unique hustle. And we out.